Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to do a speed test between all these smartphones right here and see which one ranks the fastest in the world. So if you are in the hunt for the fastest smartphone, you will have to grab the winner of this test. The results will surprise and shock you. Now let's take a quick look at our lineup and just remember this is somewhat a personal lineup for me, but it does include all the big names and the latest flagships on the market. So let's go from left to right. We have an LG V10, a Samsung Galaxy Note 5, an iPhone 6S Plus and a 6S right next to it, a Samsung S6 Edge which also doubles up as an S6 which means they perform exactly the same as well as a LG G4 and HTC One M9. That's quite a lineup we have right there. So let's dive in. Now the first thing we will be doing is running a processor and memory benchmark on all these babies using the powerful cross-platform Geekbench tool. As you can see, I'm clearing all the background apps so we can have a clean slate to work with. Okay, so let's finish the last couple one of these guys. And then immediately afterwards, I'm gonna launch Geekbench on all these guys. One by one on each of these guys. The Note 5, the iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone 6, S6 Edge, LG G4, and the 1M9. So let's start. And I'm gonna have you guys watch the entire test from start to finish, at least for Geekbench. It's, it's not long and I want you guys to see which phone gets done first and the corresponding scores. All right, so it looks like the iPhone 6S Plus got done first and the iPhone 6S got done right after and the other phones are still going. We do have some really high scores over here, especially in the single core. 2,517 and 2,559 on the iPhones on the single core, which is going to be uh, tough to beat. So let's wait for the other phones to get done. And there we go, we got the Note 5 and the S6 Edge done as well. The S6 Edge has given us an amazing score for the, for the uh, multi-score, and so does the Note 5, but the S6 Edge is in fact faster than the Note 5. And then we have the LG uh, V10 and LG G4 done. And let's wait for the HTC One M9. And here we have it, all of these phones have completed running the tests. Can you guys tell me which phone is the fastest in the multi-score performance. That's right, it's the S6 Edge. In the single core performance, the fastest phone is the uh, 6S, and the 6S Plus is very close to it. And if you look at the Note 5, it's got the second fastest multi-score performance. So let's go by the multi-core score and see what kind of ranking we get from one to seven. Even though we are really interested in top five, we are gonna do a ranking on all these seven phones, and here's the numbers. So we have the S6 Edge at number one, the Note 5 at number two, at 3 and 4, we have the 6S and 6S Plus. At 5, we got the HTC One M9 and LG V10 and G4 follow at 6 and 7. So that's that. Now let's move on to the graphical performance of these phones. We are going to use the 3D Mark cross-platform benchmarking tool to measure the graphical prowess of all these phones, and we will do a similar ranking immediately afterwards. So let's dive in, but I do want to warn you guys, I'm not going to show you the entire 3D Mark benchmarks because they're way too long. So I'm going to give you a quick preview and quickly fast forward to the end results and inspect the numbers. And there we have it. So it's a little hard to see the numbers on the iPhones, iPhones because the results are smaller, but the iPhone 6S leads the pack. You've got 28,615 as a total score, where the iPhone 6S Plus gets 27,958. Now, interestingly enough, the HTC One M9 is number three. It scores 25,098 points. And then you have the Note 5 at 24,000, then you got S6 Edge at 21,993. And finally, the LG G4 scores 18,796 and the LG V10 scores 18,724, which is virtually identical, so we cannot really make a big distinction here. But the LGs do come last in the graphical prowess, the iPhones in the first, and the HTC. 1M9 in the middle somewhere. So here is a final chart for you guys to inspect and soak in the numbers. Uh, but if you look at this carefully, the Samsung Galaxy phones do win 
as far as processor and memory goes, but when it comes to graphical performance, the iPhones are on the top of the chart. So there we have it. Well, thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and become a stalker on Twitter and Facebook. And give me a thumbs up for this video. I will see you guys the next time.